Okay, so again, Dr. Brugler and Rosa from City Tech, from the Biological Sciences Department, and we're going to dissect the clam. The clam. Mm. So, what are clams? Oh, you're asking me? <laughs> <laughs> What's a clam? I believe they belong to the phylum mollusca. They're animals. Oh, yes. Okay, animals, all right. Animals, not plants. Okay, they're mollusks. Hmm. Mollusks. Mollusks. What? what? Yeah. What do you think about when you hear the term mollusk? Mussels or... Mussels? Yeah. Squids? Yeah. Octopus? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. I like to eat those things, actually. Ah. What about snails? Are they mollusks? Yeah, and I eat them too because yeah. I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> I hear snails. This could be wrong, but I hear snails uh, have the highest uh, uh, parasite load per body weight. It's okay uh, if you cook them. Oh, <laughs> They're very good with butter and garlic and parsley. So what is a just an umbrella general term for what kind of mollusk this is? I believe this one has two shells and we call them bivalves. Oh, bi being two? Yep. Ah, okay. And they don't move much like a snail or an octopus. They're going to filter water, right? Yes. Yeah. Filter feeders. So what is it? It looks like it's smoking a cigarette. What is that? <laughs> uh, good question. That's a piece of wood. A piece of wood? Is that usually found in this animal? Nope. That's done by those places that prepare the clams for us since they have to preserve them and we can't do that if they're closed. So they put a little piece of wood that will prevent the clam from closing and uh, to let all those different solutions get inside okay so they can be preserved and don't not smell too bad okay yeah so we um have to open this clam in a while but let's um determine uh, their symmetry for example okay <laughs> <laughs> i messed up with the earthworm so i'm gonna let you take it so they have bilateral symmetry two sides uh. A right side and a left side, of, and therefore a front and a back. But how do you see that here? It's really not obvious to me. I, I wouldn't be able to say, where's the front of this animal? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do? You look at this. What is that, that white part? Is that the, the uh, tooth? Is it a tooth? It's called a tooth, even oh. though it's not a tooth. Oh, okay. Or the... Umbo. Oh, the umbo. That's such a weird word, umbo. Didn't I hear that with, re with regard to soccer shorts or something, or soccer in general? The umbo? Or maybe no. it's something else. I don't know. No idea <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so I've heard and read in the lab manual that the umbo points towards the front of the animal. Is that correct? I don't know. No? I, <laughs> I thought you were a marine biologist. So... Let's say that's true. That means that this would be the front of the clam because the umbo is going that way. So the front is anterior? Anterior part. Okay. And the posterior part would be here. Okay. Therefore, if I'm looking at my clam this way, this is the right side and this is the left side, the front and the back. Ah, so what's wow. dorsal ventral? Oh, dorsal Okay. and ventral. Ah, excellent. Okay. I passed the test. I Ooh. agree. So now we have to open this clam. But first, let's look at the those rings. Ah. What is that? Is that when they grow? Again, I don't know. I believe you do. So clams start all small, and then each time they grow, they have to make more shell. Mm. What is the shell made out of? Glass? I heard. I, it's something very nice to say. Mother of pearl. Mother of pearl. Yeah. Maker. Yep. And nice. that's what makes those precious pearls, uh, right? But it doesn't look too nice from here. No. No, it looks like... Although the umbo has some nice shiny Yeah, stuff. it's shiny. Maybe if we polish it, it would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, we remove that brownish uh, substance on top. All right, so we have to open them, and they have very strong muscles to hold their two shells together. How many? Two. Two. And there's a, one in the front and one in the back, right? Yes. So they're holding the shell and that prevents us from opening it. And that's because they need to protect their really soft bodies. They can't just stay open and vulnerable like that. So we're gonna use the scalpel to cut those muscles so we can pry the shell open. 
So I can, I'm not going too far in because I don't want to destroy my animal and I'm just cutting the muscle. I can see a little bit what I'm doing by just peeking through that slit. I'm gonna remove this piece of wood and I can see the other muscle, so I'm cutting it. Yeah, I think I'm done. That was fast. Oh yeah, now, all right, I'm gonna be really strong. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, now there's that shine you were telling us about. Oh yeah, the mother of pearl. Look at that purple, beautiful, beautiful. shiny. So, <laughs> what are we looking at? This looks like just a brown blob to me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. this is gonna be difficult trying yeah. to identify all this stuff. Oh, good luck. It's all the same I would prefer color. a fresh clam. Oh man. Well, there's something easy here because it's really sticking to the shell and it's very thin. Ah, thin sheet of tissue. Mm. Hmm. And at the edges, it has like this brownish substance like on the shell. Hmm. What is this? I and believe that is the mantle. The mantle? Like a uh, like to make fire? Yeah, that's well, the same thing. No, <laughs> it's not the same thing. This is a thin sheet of tissue that has two functions. The first is to secrete the shell if the mollusk has a shell, and in this case it does. And the second is to protect the internal organs known as the visceral mass. Ooh, visceral mass. So two functions, secrete shell, protect organs. All right. Hmm. I'm just playing around with the mantle right now. Ah, okay. So it's on each side and it's make it's it's making each shell. Yes. The bivalve. All right. Um, so here I feel like I broke something. Mm, um, that thin rib structure there? Yeah. It has mm. like ridges on it. There appears to be two of them. Yes. Because this is bilaterally yep. symmetrical. Yep. Hmm. So I have a set here, and it's found on the other side here wow. as well. Oops. Let's see. These hmm. are gills. Gills. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Very gills. similar to fish gills. Right. So they're going to help them breathe. Breathe. And uh, also, because these are filter feeders, they're siphoning in or bringing in water from the surrounding environment, and they need to catch their food. And so there's little hairs on the gills as well as mucus. And so when the water enters the clam, the gills will filter out all of the goodies. All right. And then once those goodies or the food particles are stuck to the gills, how in the world are they delivered to the mouth? That I know. So they have those little weird structures that I'm trying to expose here, right? Yep. So we're in the front of the animal on this side, and they have those labial pulps. Yeah, labial pulps, absolutely. Here. And they use that to, what, swipe their gills? Yep. And bring the food to their little mouth here. Indeed. You got it. <laughs> All right, so you swipe and you bring to your mouth. Oh, so you're, it's almost like oh, eating with your hands. There you go. Hmm. An interesting fact about clams, once the food enters the mouth, then goes to the stomach and then to the intestines. Well, the intestines actually go through the center of the heart oh. of a clam. It's a tube within the heart. Pretty amazing. How is that a good thing? Uh, that's a good question. Mother Nature <laughs> didn't really streamline that one. <laughs> is the pumping of the heart helping the movement of the Ooh. food or something? Hmm. Hmm. That's up to discussion. Cool. All right, so we saw the labial pops. There's uh, one here, right? Yep. And then there should be one on the other side because we have bilateral symmetry, so it's Correct. hidden here. Then I see something very hard here. Wow. Very, um, yeah, let's see. It's let me, tough. Let me check this out. Oh, that's very it's, tough, very muscular. Oh, so that's their muscle? Oh, yes. That's their foot? A foot. One foot. Absolutely. One so what do they foot. use the foot for? I know they can stick it out. Okay. And then they can kick other clams. <laughs> kick other clams. <laughs> Maybe that's the soccer reference. Okay. Maybe that's the right. umbo and kicking. Maybe, probably not. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's it's for anchoring and digging. Okay. And, uh, and sometimes clams are able to move. Usually they just clap their shells together, but... Uh, like this? Yeah, there, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So that's how they swim. There you go. And then this would be to bury themselves. Yes. Oh, okay. And then to kick the pearls out when they play <laughs> soccer. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so there's... um. 
bulging part here and i believe that's where most of the organs are yes that is and correct. that is called the um, visceral mass visceral mass where all the organs are we're not going to open it because it's kind of nasty in a preserved clam but it has what in their digestive glands yep um yep. stomach intestines you get all oh, the goodies in there all mashed up in here yep all right. So let's review the four characteristics of all mollusks, mollusks, regardless of whether you're a snail, a slug, a clam, oyster, mussel, scallop, cuttlefish, <gasps> squid, octopus. They all have four things. Number one, mantle. The mantle. It secretes the shell, protects the internal organs. They have internal organs called the visceral mass. They also have the foot, muscular foot for movement, and... Uh, what's not shown here is they have what is uh, called, well, it looks like a conveyor belt of teeth. And we call it the radula, R-A-D-U-L-A, -A, radula. Uh, difficult to see here, but uh, that's how they kind of grind uh, their food off of rocks or, or just grind in general. And so what if we wanted to artificially make a pearl? Uh, what would we do to the clam to make that happen? I think we have to inject grains of sand. And then if they can't get rid of it, they're going to wrap it with that mother of pearl. Ooh. So it's not too abrasive and damaging to their soft tissues. Mm. Right? I agree. Absolutely. But clams make pearls? Mm. They do. Do they? But they're not probably precious like the oyster oh, pearls. Oh, the oyster pearls. Yes. Yeah. I go. want to see the silom because these are salomates. They have the body oh, cavity. Have body cavities, that's right. So I'm going to break stuff here, which is okay now that we've seen it. Because I want to look here. So let's just get our orient orientation right. We have the front of the animal here because I moved it. Um, the umbo is pointing that way. Um, there's the labial palps in the front as well. And then in the dorsal area here, I see... Does it look translucent to you? It does. Yeah, like a little membrane. That's very translucent, and then there's something very dark underneath. Hmm. So what is that structure here underneath? Not a clue. That's the silo. Oh, it's tiny. It's very reduced. Cavity. Yep. Wow. Very reduced. But what do they house in there? Their organs. Such as? Ah, that's right, because a silom is a space that allows complex organs to develop, and it allows those organs to have order to them, not just be there, but be connected right to form organ systems yes wow oh, great hmm. i'm going to try to open this this without causing too much damage so of course i'm not gonna try to make cat food now we broke this open oh. and what is that structure hmm is it the heart that's the heart. Oh, boy. <laughs> a little bit different than the earthworm heart. <laughs> yeah, only one. Just one. And it's, yeah, it's quite big for that It is big. Animal. Absolutely. I can see the intestine going through, like you said. Ah. Uh, we're not that good that we're going to see it. I believe there's also a kidney in the area. Yeah. Uh, it should be the darker structure that I cannot expose right now okay. for some reason. So if somebody watching this at home thinks, man, I've eaten a clam before, so what is it that I put in my mouth? Everything. Everything? Yeah. So you're eating the foot, the organs, the mantle, the, the gills, the, the body cavity. I'm, I just leave the shell. That's the it. heart? Yep. I eat all of that? Yeah, I feel bad now. Oh, my Just ate goodness. everything. How about the, um, those pricey... Um, Round scallops. Scallops, yes. What are we eating? Mm. Are these the only round structure I see here? Are those muscles yep. that we cut? Is that what we eat in the scallop? No, no. We eat the whole thing too. I think so. Mm. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> well, usually we eat everything, and we can eat them live also. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. And um, you swallow the whole thing. So the last dissection we looked at, the earthworm, you said they did not have eyes. Do clams have eyes? Yes, and that makes me feel even worse eating in them. So I, I can't see them, but I think they are on the edges of what, the mental? 
Uh, I, it's, I know for sure in the scallops, all the little blue dots are the eyeballs. I don't know about clams, but it's something we're going to look into. And uh, Yeah, they probably do have eyes to see us coming. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> to eat them. Yeah, but and some bivalves definitely yeah, do. Yeah, they do ha have them. And they're really, when they're fresh animals, they have nice little colors, like blue eyes mm -hmm. and things like that. And mm -hmm. they're all over. It's not just a pair. It's a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. So well, this was a great dissection. Yeah, thank you. Um, I hope you can identify everything on those animals and see them a little differently now. <laughs>